Welcome to Map TV. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Click on the bell button for notification. Hi, great people of the world. My name is Donald, and this is Map TV. Welcome once again. I have a lot of beautiful stuff to share with you, and uh, I think you should just take a chill pill. And first on the list is about the Anaferi um, Afeni Ferre. I don't know if I pronounce that right. The Afeni Ferry is actually a Yoruba culture, social cultural group, and that um, is headed by Pa Ruben. Pa Ruben is the chairman of Afeni Ferry, and um, there is no news, or you've not heard about the death of Mrs. Funke, who happens to be the daughter of Pa Ruben, and it was said, or would I say, I would. Okay, before I tell you that that story, I need to tell you this gist, right? Last two weeks, my friend was actually, my personal friend, he stays in Lagos, was actually traveling from the east to Lagos, from Onitsha, Anambra State precisely. And when he got to Bini Bypass, he was he was coming with um, a mother and his son, right? So when he got to Bini Bypass, there was, he now saw that somebody stepped out from the bush and started shooting at him. Not just one person, like two or three guys. They opened fire on him. They, not that they actually wanted to take the car from him, but they were shooting on the car like they were aiming to kill him. So when he saw them, he decided to die while he was driving and rather than stop and die. So he fired, he kept firing and they kept shooting at him. A bullet pierced through his hand and, um, and a bullet also, he sit on his buttocks, but didn't get into a buttock, I'm sorry, his buttocks, you know. So um, he traveled from there to Ore and after Ore to Shagamo he now found out that both the compressor that, that sorry both the radiator the engine his oil is finished he had to tow the car from Shagamo to Lagos he got home around 1 a.m. and these people are also the set of people or the kind of people that actually killed Funke yeah it has also happened to me, oh, if they tell me for dream, I don't go believe. See, tie your vehicle, see bullet. And immediately after the bridge, it was this car that was behind us, oh. See what happened. If the Mopo man in the car did not fire, the only God no waiting for the apple now. We don't, they, we they hear them, we they hear them, we don't they believe, eh? Nigeria is on fire, oh. Nigeria is on fire. Can you imagine? As you just they come, the guy just step out. He just stay from middle of the road. Then he started firing. He started firing. Eh? Okay. How did how did he, did he shoot from inside? Look at now. See. See bullets. See bullets. See. See. Bullets. See. See. Bullets. See. 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 See bullets. My God. Eh? As this jeep, as as this or guy jeep pass. The guy just stepped out in the middle of the road and started firing. We were the very next one. No, let God not know what I know affect anything for the engine. Let me just see. Yeah. 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 That we were able to move out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Was a good thing. Because he, he just shot me once. If we had stopped. He wanted to stop me down. If we had stopped. I, I face to face. Now, I said the guy. The guy tied to it. Down for road. Just the middle of the road like this. Started firing. Middle of the road. Hey now, as this jeep passed, as this ogre passed, as he passed, immediately they came out. Hey? Hey. Now fire. You don't go back. When I release, back, back, back. And the story is everywhere, and people are now um, saying, Oh, rest in peace, Funke, and all that. The, the president has called by Ruben in order to commensurate with him. And this guy, um, vice president, had gone live one on one to give his condolence. Um, Tunubu had gone to Paruben and all these dignities and leaders and politicians they are flooding the house of this man in order to be a um, with him F beautiful fantastic idea but i have an issue with that no i don't have that, an issue with paruben and the person that is dead no may her soul rest in peace 
hundred percent. I have an issue in the sense that a lot of people have been dying in this country. And the northeast people are killed by the day. Several states in Nigeria they've experienced such a thing. The Bini one that happened to my friend, had it been he died, nobody would come to come rather come for condolence. Seventy people were buried one day in Benue State. It took the president a whole of time to say sorry. Now, this lady, Mrs. Funke, died. And everybody in Nigeria, the president and all of them, they now have courtesy to go and be a condolence. <laughs> Nigeria. Nigeria. Is it because she is the daughter of a prominent man? What about the people, the children that are dying each passing day? What about the son of a common man who is also a citizen in this country? You know, in Nigeria, we know how to up the smoke. We don't know how to put up the fire. If your generator is bad, you don't have to go paint your generator to make it look nice. You have to fix the generator. If your car is bad, you don't have to go spraying your car and painting it again for it to look fine. You have to change the engine. We keep pursuing smoke. That's not even the gist. The main gist is that Mente Allah, they've denied that. Okay, eyewitness, according to a Prime Times, eyewitness said, or Premium Times said that, um, Premium Times said that, eyewitness said that these people are headsmen. That is the false report that we got, that these people that killed this lady happens to be headsmen. And um, the police officer, Joseph, who is in charge of the case, the, he now said, he gave his report saying that they were able to rescue seven people. Um, so this this um, mayhem was not just targeted on Mrs. Funke, it was just on travelers. So what happened to Bini Bypass is also happening in Ore. This one happened in Ore, all right? So now, the question is, these people have denied that that's means Allah had come to say that they are not responsible or Hesman are not responsible. Tunubu says that Hesman they are not responsible. That is a Vance, a Hesman that's you know trying to put ethnicity to it. Then Joseph said that crime knows no ethnicity, knows no tribe, knows no religion, knows no race, which is true. That a criminal is a criminal, that he will not say that they are headsmen until they arrest one of them before. Uh, in order to be able to say that it's just allegedly fine now the eyewitness that said they saw headsmen that one is scrapped off now the president said that they are not headsmen what, what i'm saying is i do not know if they are headsmen or they are common criminals i do not know if they are headsmen or terrorists i don't know if they are boko haram or just kidnappers but what i know is that there is trouble in nigeria I know there is a whole lot of mayhem in this country. People are dying by the day. And look, today is the daughter of an influential man. Tomorrow, who else is it going to be? So this violence in this country knows no... Okay, maybe, possibly the people that killed this woman didn't even know that she is the daughter of a permanent man. Possibly they wouldn't have killed him. Sorry, they wouldn't have killed her. You know, but now put it side by side. Look at it this way. When are we going to stop? When are we going to wake up? When are we going to know that life is precious in this country? In this part of the world? How are we so much? We are the one putting ourselves aground. We've been so ripped off a whole of things. When are we going to wake up to the realization of the fact that people are dying? It is no politics. It's not APC or PDP. It is people, human beings are dying. What are we going to do? Are we going to fold our hands and wait for the president? Are we going to fold our hands and wait for the army? The army? The police? I don't know. Whatever you think, put down on the comment section below. This is really, really touching. Like people are dying and all we could come is grant press interviews to either make one comment or the other and people still keep dying we know how it started where it all started there are a lot of copycats how many years ago have we faced insecurity in this country and cases of kidnapping eh? is evans who was arrested and the, the disclosure thereafter a harsh man 
I don't want uh, to be political. I will ask you, where are the cows? We want to, we want to remove or be able to protect some set of people. We attribute everything to ethnicity. It's not about ethnicity. It's about human beings. People are dying. We can actually stop this. The government has every power to stop this menace. Be it headsman, be it criminal, be it kidnapper, whatever it is, we are able. It's just for us to accept the fact that we are able to stop keeping people aground. And Nigeria will transform. That's just a simple truth. Whatever you think, please put down on the comment section below. And um, next on it is um, the CAC, Baz, Christ Apostolic Church, the GO Christ Apostolic Church has come out to say something regarding the allegation between Busola Dakolo and um, Pastor Biodun Fatoyimbo. You know, we've been on this case and um, it's actually metamorphosing one day after day and unfolding things are coming out. And a lot of information that that, that happened to be hidden before, it's, they are coming out gradually. And on the currently right now, this man of God said that, uh, he said, this is your pastor, and all he needs to do right now is go to God and iron out things with God and um, have a word with God. And he believes that God will speak to him and restore him. And his ministry will continue from there and things will get better. And um, as regarding, he, he, didn't, he didn't go to Busala. He now said that this is, fight against the church it is um, an allegation that is not proven that the man of God should like I said seek the face of God and the people of the church should abide with him stand by him protect him do everything because they should look at the good side of this man and forget all these things that are happening right now the people he has transformed the joy he has brought to homes and all that they should focus on the positive in paraphrase than to put him um, and nobody sh that nobody should judge that you know that judgment is for God vengeance is for God we should leave it for God to intervene and we should not judge and um, we should just leave it like that but I have a question here and my question is I am not supporting Busola neither am I supporting Pastor Bearden because it would be impossible for me to do that now but the question is like this probably is it's just this way a lot of people are saying don't judge leave God the judge for God and do not say this upon a man of God you the wrath of God will fall on you the curse you be this and that and I ask you the question touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm I am not a pastor I'm just um, a citizen right now the question goes this way we should not judge okay leave vengeance for god beautiful but if there is a particular person who is on rampage under the name of being a pastor we should still leave him to keep killing people taking advantage of people robbing people frauding people we should keep quiet because he's now said which means all the criminals will turn to pastors because it's the same ground for them we should not judge. Fine and good. What about pointing out error? What about pointing out when, when, when a pastor does something wrong? When, if you point it out, is that bad too? I'm not talking about judging. I'm talking about pointing out. So when we use this word, don't judge, it's, it's a way to actually put some people in the, in the cubicle of guilt when something wrong happens. By so doing, we should, even our father, when our father does something wrong, we shouldn't, first, we shouldn't even talk about it because it's our father. And we shouldn't judge him. Yes, we should leave him like that. If our elder does something wrong, we shouldn't even tell that person. Because he's full of on the same category. These are leaders. Leaders in the body of Christ. They are accountable to, to us that they are leading. When my father does something wrong, I'll be like, that, I don't like this thing you did. Uh, you didn't do it rightly. Okay, so it, I'm sorry. But if his ego doesn't let him to say sorry, fine and good. Then a pastor, I am part of the body of Christ. This is what I think. If I'm wrong, please correct me on the comment section below. I'm not again, I'm not saying we should protest, kill the man of God. No, we're not judging him to put him in prison. No, but what I'm saying if something is wrong, we should point it out. I don't know about Pastor Bearden, I don't know, it's just allegedly. But I'm saying in a holistic view, don't judge, touch not my anointed. I think people can actually take advantage of that word and penetrate and perpetuate evil. 
and still go free under the umbrella of touch not my anointed that is my point if you have a contrary book, please put down on the comment section below and um, if you're not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that once we post videos you be forced to get the notification thank you so much if you subscribe i really and we really do love you thank you and this is about pvn that's um particular style fellowship of nigeria um, it's a body like CAN, that's CAN, Christian Association of Nigeria. These are bodies that oversee and see things that actually happen. And the PVN, you know, they've been on low for a long time. They've not really said anything in the public. It's been kind as we're speaking, but thank God PVN is speaking, PVN is speaking right now. And um, I, I can tell you, let you know that um, Pastor uh, Adeboye, who actually commented last week, happens to be the former president of PVN. And this is what PVN is saying right now. This is their state. PVN said that they are on the investigation already. They've set up a committee, three man committee, who are going to look into this matter critically. And not in my church um, um, campaign organization it is it is an advocate organization rather to say they have said if you've been they are now appealing to the general public telling everybody if you've been molested if you've been abused by pastor building for toyimbo that they should come forth and speak they are going to they promise to give them a professional counseling all right, so this is the gain of those that have been abused by the said man of god they should come forward they will get professional counseling and um, they should speak up that it will help them in their healing process and this um this organization has been able to stipulate all the things they actually need um pfn to do if a, any pastor any said pastor is found guilty step down for six months to five years requirements that they published what do you think about them do you think they are right do you think this man of this man of god should be demanded to you know this kind of thing should be demanded of them what do you think whatever you think put down on the comment section below and what do you think about pvn um we're going to hope on them to bring out the truth as soon as possible as beautiful as it is and do not forget that my name is Donald and this is Mock TV. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So whenever we post a video, you'll be the first to get the video. And do not I have 100 coins. Yeah, people, people is playing game here, whether I like it or not. I mean, I'm being, I'm being sincere. I say it's 190. You say you put take 90 or you put 